America's local TV and radio stations are there for us when we need them most. As our neighbors, they educate, help, and inspire us. Tonight, we honor stations' incredible public service efforts from across the country. The Celebration of Service to America Awards, featuring Leadership Award recipients Patti LaBelle and Jose Andres, plus other stars. Now, please welcome Access Hollywood host and syndicated radio personality, Mario Lopez. Thank you, thank you, and good evening, everyone. And welcome to the 23rd Celebration of Service to America Awards. Tonight, of course, we are going to uh, join the NAB Leadership Foundation and our generous sponsors in honoring broadcasters' contributions across the nation. And we have with us this evening a remarkable group of honorees from raising funds for local organizations and causes to collecting items for families in need and providing critical information to listeners and viewers, these broadcasters display an unwavering commitment to their communities, and that is so very important, and I'm proud to be among them. We encourage you to join the conversation on social using the hashtag STA Awards. You can also follow at NAB Foundation to see what everyone else is sharing, and we're also encouraging local radio and TV stations to post on social media their recent or favorite public service projects using the hashtag broadcast good. And now please join me in welcoming the president of the NAB Leadership Foundation, Michelle Duke. Thank you, Mario. I also want to thank all of you for being here tonight to share this very special evening of celebrating local radio and television stations' extraordinary community service. This past year, Americans have relied on broadcasters more than ever, whether keeping listeners and viewers informed, or providing coats to the cold, or meals to the hungry. Broadcasters have offered a lifeline in this time of need. In recent years, we've seen stations facing challenges such as recruitment and retention. Our programs like the Media Sales Academy and the Technology Apprenticeship Program are helping to bring broadcasters into our industry's career pipeline. Your partnership is helping to fulfill this mission. Please watch this video that highlights the NAB Leadership Foundation and its programs that are making a direct impact. Leading, informing, creating, innovating. There has never been a more important and exciting time to have a career in broadcasting. Pursue your passion, make a difference, and be heard. Whether it's in radio or television, opportunities await you. The NAB Leadership Foundation, committed to building a more diverse and vibrant future for broadcasting. That future includes you. Learn more at nabfoundation.org. Thank you, Michelle. We'd also like to thank our presenting sponsors, Bonneville International and Hearst Television, who make it possible for us to celebrate local stations' dedication to public service. So thank you very much. Let's take a moment to hear from our presenting sponsors. Bonneville International Radio and Television stations proudly entertain and inform the diverse communities we serve. In uncertain times, one constant endures. People coming together to serve and inspire. That's why all of us at Bonneville applaud this year's Service to America Award nominees for their outstanding efforts, for embracing the events and issues that challenge us all, and for providing a positive path forward. Right now, local broadcasters are making a positive impact in communities across America. Helping our neighbors. Investing in equity. And shining a light with important investigations. Hearst Television is proud to sponsor the NAB Leadership Foundation's Celebration of Service to America Awards. It makes me really excited that they care about us. Our stations from coast to coast are taking action and celebrate all who join us in supporting the critical work of local broadcasters. A uh, big thanks again to Bonneville International and Hearst Television for their invaluable support. Let's now officially begin our presentation of awards. Here to present our first award, the Service to Community Award for Radio Small Market, is Emmy Award-winning co-anchor of ABC News' Nightline, Juju Chang. Thank you so much, Mario. That's so elegant of you. It is my absolute honor to present the first award of the evening small market radio stations, as we all know, hold a very special role in their communities. 
They are deeply connected to their listeners, keeping them informed as well as entertained, and providing critical community service and liaisons. The nominees are KTXY FM, Columbia, Missouri, for their Miracle for Kids Radiothon, WNRP AM, Pensacola, Florida, for their Next Level COVID Charts. And the winner is WNRP News Radio 92.3, Pensacola, Florida, for their Next Level COVID Charts. Let's hear more about what an important role this initiative played and continues to play in the Pensacola community. I'm first and foremost a radio host, but the problem is numbers are hard to do on the radio. You know, if I go on the radio and I do a five minute segment and say there were 438 cases yesterday, that's an increase of 0.3% from the previous day, the test positivity, uh, nobody cares. So you have to know the numbers and then tell them in a way that people will understand. And so I just thought I can look at the numbers and I can start to give my listeners at least better context basically help them understand, were they at risk? Were things improving? Were things getting worse? How bad is it? Because a lot of the reporting to me was just superficial numbers without much comprehension. And I wanted to just kind of step back and really give people more of a sense of what was happening. News Radio and Cat Country, our sister station, were founded by people who their whole philosophy has served the community. Like everything is hyper local. And so that was where my focal point was, was local information that was reliable to the folks that were listening to us and serving that community. I, I mean, I took that responsibility really seriously, that that was important to people. I'm there for them every day to talk about what's going on. I'm their friend in the car telling them the news. And so I, I, I don't know, I, I love that. I love learning, I love teaching, and to me, doing talk radio is that completely. Connecting the science with the storytelling and accepting the award tonight for WNRP is the host of Pensacola Morning News, their friend in the car, Andrew McKay. Wow. <laughs> um, thank you all for coming to share in this. And I just want to say I appreciate our owners, uh, Mary Hoxing and Dave Hoxing. And they put together a radio cluster that is kind of rare these days. We're one of in Pensacola, and we just serve the local community, and I love it. Thank you so much for the award. I appreciate it, and uh, it was fun telling the truth about Florida, which doesn't always get out. Thank you so much. The next award recognizes an outstanding television station in a small market for its campaigns, projects, or programs that serve the public good or provide exemplary service to the community. So let's hear from Drew Barrymore, who's gonna present the award to Community Award for Television Small Market. Hi, I'm Drew Barrymore, and I'm so honored to present the Service to Community Award for a television station in a small market. To be a small market station is to know your community inside and out. These stations are so vital to their communities, so it's no wonder these stations have big hearts when it comes to helping their neighbors in need. The nominees are KWQC-TV, Davenport, Iowa, for TV6 Real Conversations. KOBI-TV, Medford, Oregon, for In This Together. WBNG-TV, Johnson City, New York, for Southern Tier Tuesdays. And the winner is KOBI-TV in Medford, Oregon, for its In This Together campaign. It's our role as broadcasters to be leaders in our community and to make sure that we're providing information that can help people in any kind of situation. If someone breaks their arm, you immediately get them help, get them to a doctor. Mental health is the same thing. In This Together is a multi-platform campaign to inform, to educate, and to prevent suicide. We felt it was time to help deliver that message. In the past six months, we've launched probably the most successful PSA we have done thus far, and it involved a suicide survivor named Seth. I really started to struggle a lot with self-esteem and feeling pretty lonely. When I was feeling like the only way out was to end my life, I thought that I was doing the world a favor. To finally open up and let someone else in uh, made such a huge difference to me. Guiding people to help 
is our responsibility as broadcasters. We do it when there's fires. We do it when there's major weather events. We do it every day. And mental health and suicide prevention is right in our wheelhouse to make a difference with. And that's why I'm proud to be a local broadcaster. And that's why I'm proud of NBC5 here in Medford, Oregon, stepping up, taking a leadership role, and saying we can make a difference. Here to accept the award for KOBI is General Manager Bob Wise. With me is Deanne Everson, Executive Director of United Way, and this is the third Service to America Award that we have collaborated on. This is something I hope you all join us with, this discussion of mental health and suicide. I think we truly can make a difference. Um, from our owner, Patsy Smullen, to our entire team at KOBI-TV in Medford, Oregon, to our amazing partners on this project, thank you so much. Coming up, Hall of Fame sportscaster James Brown, when the Celebration of Service to America Awards continues. Welcome back to the Celebration of Service to America Awards. Our next award of the evening is the Service to Community Award for Radio Media Market. Here to do the honor of sharing more about our honoree and presenting the award is Emmy Award winner, journalist, and Hall of Fame sportscaster, James Brown. Thank you so very much for the introduction, and it is indeed my great honor to present the Service to Community Award for Radio Media Market. The stations in this category make significant and lasting contributions to their communities throughout the entire year. The nominees are KRMG-FM, Tulsa, Oklahoma, for the Big Spring Clean, WHKO-FM, Dayton, Ohio, for the K99.1-FM, Cares for Kids Radiothon, WJBR-FM, Wilmington, Delaware, for the Mix 99.5 FM, WJBR, Help Our Kids Radiothon. And the winner is WJBR FM, Beasley Media Group, Wilmington, Delaware, Mix 99.5, WJBR for the Help Our Kids Radiothon. In 2021, WJBR Mix 99.5 became the new sponsor of the Help Our Kids Radiothon working with the Wilmington area's premier child health care provider, Namor's Children's Health. Let's take a look at how WJBR is making a difference in the lives of Namor's patients and families. The Help Our Kids Radiothon is a two-day labor of love for the kids and families served by Namor's Children's Hospital. I've had the pleasure of being a part of Radiothon for the past five years, and every year, while fundraising is the goal, the patient stories, like those of our children who face insurmountable health challenges, are inspiring. The outpouring of generosity as a result of hearing these stories is incredible. It's all hands on deck for the Radiothon, and we were all there, 26 hours on the air, raising more than $356,000. That's the most they've ever seen, and a testament to our wonderful listeners. Every donation provides an opportunity for a patient to receive the very best possible care. We're not just here to entertain, we're here to do our part. Just like Nemours, we are part of this community. We live here, we work here, we're all in this together to make a better Wilmington. to accept the award on behalf of WJBR-FM is General Sales Manager of Beasley Media Group, Marta DeLisi. Thank you to the NAB Leadership Foundation for recognizing the great work that local radio does. Thank you, Becky Phillips, and the entire Nemours Children's Hospital organization for this incredible partnership. Thank you, Caroline Beasley, for supporting our efforts. And finally, thank you to my WJBR team for your passion, your dedication, your ability to make things happen. Thank you. The next award we're presenting this evening recognizes a television station in a media market for its exemplary public service. Here to present the award for service to community award for television media market is rock and roll soul artist Maggie Rose. 
Good evening. It's my great honor to present the Service to Community Award for television, Media Market. Each of the stations in this category has provided critical support to viewers in times of need. The nominees are WIS-TV, Columbia, South Carolina, for Families Helping Families. WMTV-TV, Madison, Wisconsin, for WMTV Diaper Drive Success. WTOC-TV, Savannah, Georgia, for WTOC-TV Tells Smart Women's Stories to Raise Money for Breast Cancer. And the winner is WIS-TV, Great Television, Columbia, South Carolina, Families Helping Families. For 30 years, WIS-TV has helped bring joy to families during the holidays. 2021 saw the station's most successful campaign to date. Let's take a look. Our Families Helping Families project is one of our favorite projects that we do throughout the year here at WIS because we already know before we get started each holiday season that this project is going to have a tremendous impact in our community. This definitely helps out tremendously. It allows kids to be able to smile and it allows the adults to kind of like rest a little bit easier. It's overwhelming to see what comes in this warehouse. We have gifts for, I think there are 9,000 children we've provided for. It's only because we have a powerful media partner that we continue to grow. It's incredible to see just how the community responds. Two million dollars this year is what they gave. 3,500 families helped, all of them able to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday simply because of the goodness of the people here in this community. I start crying because you gotta be grateful for what people do for your kids. Excuse me. Families Helping Families really reminds us what it's all about, what we are here to do, and ultimately, that's to serve our community. Here to accept the award is WIS-TV Vice President and General Manager, Lyle Schulze. Thank you to Great Television for their great support. We've done this project for 30 years and helped 100,000 families over those 30 years. And I'd like to especially recognize uh, Judy Gadsden, who has been our face of this project for her great efforts to secure the help of the Palmetto Project and uh, all the families of the Midlands, the 41 counties that we serve. Thank you for your support. And always remember local broadcasting. We are WIS. Coming up. Asher Grotman from the hit comedy Ghosts, when the Celebration of Service to America Awards continues. Welcome back to the Celebration of Service to America Awards. And now, Mario Lopez. The next award recognizes service to community by a radio broadcaster in a large or major market. Please welcome our next presenter. He stars in acclaimed CBS comedy Ghosts, Asher Grodman. Thank you, Mario. It's wonderful to be here. The stations in this next category reach millions of listeners each day, and they are experts at meeting and exceeding the many diverse needs of their communities. These stations truly go the extra mile when it comes to public service. Here are the nominees for radio, large and major markets. The nominees are WSBAM Atlanta, Georgia, for the WSB Carathon. WTLC FM Indianapolis, Indiana, for feeding families for 365 days plus. WTOP FM Washington, D.C., for D.C. Department of Forensic Science Investigative Series. And the winner is WTLC FM Indianapolis, Indiana, Urban One for feeding families for 365 days plus. Let's learn more about their work to help their community. WTLC and Radio One, they have been staples in this community for decades. It was a natural for us when we launched this whole food distribution effort at the beginning of the pandemic to reach out to engage WTLC and all of the properties of Radio One to help us to spread the word. 
The Urban League stepped up and decided that it was going to distribute 500 to 600 meals every week. Our general manager, Dion Levingston, got with us and said, we need to be a part of this. And, you know, we've been here ever since. We're still enduring a health pandemic. We're still enduring an economic pandemic as well. And that's very real for families that are still struggling. And we couldn't get the word out about everything we're doing here at the Indianapolis Urban League without WTLC and without Radio One. It just feels good to be part of our community that we serve every day to give back to it. This is my community. This is where I live. And my parents just instilled in me this idea of giving back because you never know when it could be you. It's leading through giving. It's leading by being unapologetic in giving back to the community that gives so much to us. When they hurt, we hurt, and we have to be there for them. Here to accept the award on behalf of WTLC is Director of Operations for Radio One Indianapolis, Karen Vaughn. I, I think the word of the night is wow. The great work in giving back is being recognized. Thank you so much to the NAB Leadership Foundation for recognizing 106.7 WTLC of being the heart and hustle of Indianapolis in giving back in such a huge way with the Indianapolis Urban League. Together, we all win. Thank you so very much. And now, here to present the Service to Community Award for Television for a Large Market Station is the co-host of the nationally syndicated morning show, The Breakfast Club, Angela Yee. Good evening. I'm honored to help recognize the stations in this next category for exemplary public service. Large market television stations connect with viewers day in and day out, serving their communities in ways both large and small. The nominees are KYW-TV, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for KYW Small Wins Grant Program. WFAA-TV, Dallas, Texas, for WFAA Adoption Awareness. WLKY-TV, Louisville, Kentucky, for WLKY MAP Grants. And the winner is WFAA-TV, Dallas, Texas, Tegna, for Adoption Awareness. Let's take a look at WFAA's remarkable commitment to helping children find their forever homes. I'm an adoptive father, and knowing WFA's longstanding commitment to adoption awareness, I pitched an hour-long special called Celebrate the Love. Airing on National Adoption Day, Celebrate the Love was hosted by our two main station anchors, Cynthia Isiguere, who is an adoptive mother, and Chris Lawrence, who is an adoptee. The special highlighted stories around transracial adoption, late teen adoption, and featured organizations within our community who help care for these children and their CPS caseworkers. The feedback we received from the Celebrate the Love special was overwhelming. As an adoptive mother myself, it makes me proud to be a broadcaster who works for a station and a company who have done so much and will continue to do so much for these very special children. Each week, our Wednesday's Child segments featured a child or sibling group currently living in foster care. It has been the highlight of my career to help these children find their forever home. That is so beautiful and inspirational. And here to accept the award is Tegna Senior Vice President and WFAA President and General Manager, Brad Ramsey. Thank you so much. It's an incredible honor to be here on behalf of WFAA and Tegna. Celebrate the love, as you can tell, was truly a labor of love. Everybody involved has a very personal adoption story, including everyone on stage with me tonight. We would like to dedicate this award to all of our employees who have adopted children and the children who have been adopted by our employees. And I have two final thank yous to our colleagues from Tegna in the room tonight and around the country. Thank you for raising the bar on service to our audience. Serving the greater good of our communities is not a slogan at Tegna. It is who we are. And lastly, and most importantly, to every finalist in the room tonight, Thank you and congratulations. Your work is more important than ever. Keep fighting the good fight. Thank you very much.
The Celebration of Service to America Awards will be back after these messages. Welcome back to the Celebration of Service to America Awards. And now, Mario Lopez. We're encouraging local radio and TV stations to post on social media the recent or favorite public service projects using the hashtag broadcast good. So let's get those hashtags trending with posts about your local station's public service. And please make sure to follow the hashtag to see what stations across the country are doing to help out their communities. Here to present this year's Service to Community Award for Radio Ownership is celebrity chef and lifestyle expert, Chef Huda. Thank you, Mario. I have the great honor of presenting this year's Service to Community Award for Radio Ownership Group to the Beasley Media Group for their stations demonstrated strong community outreach and support in unique ways. Recognizing the great public service efforts made by their local stations, Beasley Media Group realized that by working together, they can make even more of a bigger impact in communities across the country. The Beasley's Best Community of Caring was born from that simple premise. Let's hear more. The Beasley Best Community of Caring started when we realized that we could share our talents and our mics to do something even bigger. It's the power of 61 stations in 15 markets across the country, dedicating airtime and our combined talents to create campaigns that affect all of us. Each station gets behind the campaign. We donate a combined 36,000 spots and a lot of digital content and website space. We use every asset that we have, but we also take it to the local level, from food drives and toy collections to walks and runs and pet shelter events. We all get out there and volunteer. Over 60 years ago, our own George Beasley founded this company with the idea that we live and we work here. We do what we can to take care of our listeners and our neighbors. We're in this together and we can make a difference. Congratulations to the Beasley Media Group. Please join me in welcoming the CEO of Beasley Media Group, Caroline Beasley. Thank you all. It's, uh... So exciting to be up here tonight. Uh, thank you to the NAB Leadership Foundation, to Daryl Brown and Michelle Duke for this incredible honor and for all you do to help educate our industry's shining stars. Thank you. It's truly humbling to accept this award on behalf of our entire Beasley Media Group and to re receive this honor for our Community of Caring initiative is very special. So, um, on behalf of our entire Beasley Media Group family, I thank you very much. Now, presenting the Service to Community Award for Television Ownership Group is the host and executive producer of The Tamron Hall Show, Tamron Hall. A strong sense of purpose within a company must come from leadership, and the nominees in this category are excellent examples of this principle. Whether in a small town or a giant metropolis, stations from these TV ownership groups share the same strong commitment to educating, enlightening, and serving their communities. Let's find out who the nominees are for the Service to Community Award for Television Broadcast Ownership Group. The nominees are Cox Media Group for CMG Gets Real. Sinclair Broadcast Group Incorporated for Sinclair Cares, supporting all veterans. Hearst Television Incorporated for Project Community, History, Hope, and Understanding. And the winner is Cox Media Group for their CMG Gets Real campaign. In the summer of 2020, the country was re-examining its history its present, and its future. And so was CMG. We wanted CMG to stand for equity, diversity, and inclusiveness. But we also knew we'd have to get deep with our own employees to reach those goals. So last July, a group of 100 CMG employees from across the company came together to have open and honest conversations around race, equality, and transparency. Our employees designed Gets Real, an initiative, a mission, meant to create an even deeper connection with our communities and to become a more diverse, inclusive, and equitable workplace. The name fits pretty well. It's a topic that gets discussed, 
But does it really get discussed? As an organization, we want to do more. We have the platform that can promote change and that can spotlight things that need solutions, and that's what we did. It just shows not only the people of CMG, but the communities that we serve, that we will get real. We are all about this topic. It couldn't be more critical to our society and our culture going forward. Here to accept the award on behalf of Cox Media Group is President and CEO, Dan York. I want to thank the NAB Leadership Foundation for this tremendous honor. And I want to thank Paul Curran, our head of television, and especially Miriam Pittman, our head of content and news, who made Gets Real happen. On behalf of the CMG leadership team and the thousands of Cox Media employees who work tirelessly to inform, entertain, and serve our communities, we are humbled to accept this honor. Thank you very much. The Celebration of Service to America Awards will be right back. Welcome back to the Celebration of Service to America Awards. Now we have a very special presentation for you. Here to tell us more is the president of Bonneville International and chair of the NAB Leadership Foundation Board, Daryl Brown. Our next award, the Corporate Leadership Award, is given to a company outside of the broadcast industry and embodies a focus on community service and social responsibility. This year, the honor goes to GEICO. There's no question that GEICO is a corporate leader in public service. For more than 40 years, GEICO has been committed to strengthening communities across America and empowering associates to do the same. Through GEICO Cares, associates are encouraged to dedicate their time and talents to local causes and organizations with the support of program advocates. And through the GEICO Fast Pitch Program, Associates compete on behalf of charities of their choice for donations from GEICO. A belief that access to educational and employment opportunities, security and resources to overcome challenges are key to building strong communities it was, is what drives the effort of the GEICO Philanthropic Foundation. Let's learn more. GEICO is honored to receive the 2022 Service to America Corporate Leadership Award from the National Association of Broadcasters Leadership Foundation. It seems like everywhere you go, everyone has a favorite GEICO commercial. Whether it's Hump Day, Tag Team, or our iconic lovable green gecko, one thing is for sure, GEICO's relationship with the media is tried and true. In addition to being a pioneer in the media industry, GEICO is committed to strengthening the communities in which our associates and customers live, work, and play. GEICO has provided community support to those in need through partnerships with social justice organizations and scholarship providers. Our community engagement focus supports education initiatives, provides resources for community development, and promotes equity and inclusion programs, which have demonstrated both a positive and foundational impact. GEICO is proud to support a variety of organizations committed to justice, such as the Boys and Girls Club, Shoes That Fit, the Closing Cost Assistance Program, Special Olympics, Girl Scouts, the U.S. Soccer Foundation, and many more that provide significant benefit to the lives of children across the country. We look forward to continuing this positive benefit. On behalf of over 40,000 plus associates, we are so excited to receive the 2022 Corporate Leadership Award from NAB Leadership Foundation and are deeply grateful for this recognition. Here to accept the award on behalf of GEICO is Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer Carl Timms. Good evening, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone that has received an award tonight. You should give yourself a big round of applause. <laughs> GEICO and its over 40,000 associates are so honored to receive this award. With so many things happening in our country, I'm encouraged by the acts of kindness and goodwill demonstrated by our teams from coast to coast. I know you're fond of the GECO and its many memorable commercials, but you'd also know the work 
of our, of our community engagement improves the lives of people and is just as impactful. Feel free to learn more about our great works by searching GEICO into the community. We want to thank the National Association of Broadcaster Leadership Foundation for the partnership, and we look forward to working together again. Good evening. Coming up, Leadership Award recipient, Patti LaBelle. Welcome back to the Celebration of Service to America Awards. Our final presentation of the night is the Service to America Leadership Award. This year, the honor goes to two very deserving individuals here to introduce the awards for NAB Leadership Foundation President Michelle Duke and NAB President and CEO Curtis Leggett. Thanks, Mario. These extraordinary times call for extraordinary leaders and humanitarians. And that's why we are presenting the Service to America Leadership Awards to two very deserving individuals who, like broadcasters, have dedicated their work to helping improve the lives of others across the country and around the world. We are honored to present the first Service to America Award to award-winning entertainer, author, entrepreneur, and humanitarian, Ms. Patty LaBelle. Her accolades as a Grammy award-winning singer are many, but Patty's work as a humanitarian is legendary. Let's learn about her inspirational life and public service work. The godmother of soul, Patty LaBelle, has always been a pioneer. A multi-award-winning entertainer, author, entrepreneur, and humanitarian whose career has spanned seven decades. She's persevered, turning setbacks into triumphs by using her voice to raise awareness and help others. Patty's been a tireless advocate for adoption, foster care, big sisters, the United Negro College Fund, diabetes, cancer, HIV AIDS, and many other causes and nonprofit initiatives. Her motivation and drive to help others and spread love and spirit through music has never been stronger. The NAB Leadership Foundation is honored to recognize Patti LaBelle for her continued dedication and advocacy in helping others by presenting her with our highest honor, the Service to America Leadership Award. What an honor. The National Association of Broadcasters, the Foundation, and Michelle Duke. I want to thank you all for recognizing this OG. <laughs> I've been doing it for years, and um, what an honor that you recognize what I do because God wants me to do. Not just sing, but to lift spirits and lift you up and let you know that I'm no better than anybody in the world. I have sisters that I lost to cancer and friends to AIDS. And um, I just love doing what people ask me to do because this is what I'm meant to do. And I always say to those who look at me and say, Patty, how can I become somebody like you? Believe in yourself. Know that nobody's better than you. And you can do it all. Thank you so much. I love you. God bless you. Keep on doing what you do. Thank you so much. Woo! Coming up, Leadership Award recipient, Jose Andres. Welcome back to the Celebration of Service to America Awards. Now the President and CEO of the National Association of Broadcasters, Curtis Leggett. The Service to America Awards recognize the incredible acts of service performed by local stations across the country every day. From the COVID-19 pandemic to the war in Ukraine, broadcasters play a critical role in providing our communities with life-saving information, the most trusted news, and assistance in times of need. I now have the honor of presenting the second Service to America Leadership Award to someone who has also worked to help the people of Ukraine as well as others in need around the world, millions of them. Esteemed chef, best-selling author, educator, and humanitarian, 
Jose Andres. Jose established World Central Kitchen in 2010 as a means for feeding the many. Using culinary training programs to empower communities and strengthen economies, as well as food disaster relief in the wake of emergencies around the globe. Let's learn more about Jose's incredible commitment to public service. Jose Andres' passion for food and selfless actions are creating a movement of change for the better. Twice honored in Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People and a New York Times bestselling author, Jose was awarded the National Humanities Medal by President Obama. Through his nonprofit, World Central Kitchen, Jose leads humanitarian efforts to feed communities in need. His WCK team have served fresh meals to those affected by man made and natural disasters across six continents. World Central Kitchen has stepped in to ensure communities have the strength to rebuild and that no one goes hungry. And like local stations, Jose utilizes the power of broadcasting to shine a light on the communities who need help the most. His dedication to others echoes the mission of the broadcasting community, coming together to use our voices and our work for positive change. The National Association of Broadcasters Leadership Foundation is honored to celebrate Jose Andres with the 2022 Service to America Leadership Award. Thank you. These are fascinating moments, fascinating times we live in. And thanks to, to the people in this room, to every one of you, we believe that sometimes big problems have very simple solutions, and we are trying to solve those problems, and we start with one plate of food at a time. So, you know, you, you, I know they mentioned that the award was for me, but this award is not really for me. It's for the men and women of Wall Central Kitchen. We, we arrived to Poland, Ukraine over 101 days ago, and since then we've not stopped. We have more than 7,000 Ukrainians in our team feeding one million meals a day. <laughs> this award is really for the men and women in Ukraine who they've been broadcasting themselves their stories for the world to see. Stories of resilience, of resistance, of courage, of hope. Everyone has a story. Every one of you here has a story. Stories that have the power to inspire, to educate, to empower. That's the power you have. I've been honored to tell the stories of the food fighters. They show in me the power that people have of helping people. In my case, believing that one plate of food at a time, use we can dream of a better tomorrow. Thank you very much to the people of NIB. Thank you for telling our story. Thank you for this award. God bless you and God bless America. Big congratulations again to Ms. Patty LaBelle and Jose Andres and to all of tonight's honorees. Thank you so much for the uh, wonderful presenters and our sponsors for supporting this great event. And thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next year.